to bio or not to bio? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the rising tide of immense pollution, or stand strong against a sea of plastic, and by opposing, end it. What a piece of work is a bioplastic. And what does bioplastic actually mean? And is it really better? Let's find out. Bioplastic can mean one of two things, bio-based or biodegradable, or preferably both. Let's start with bio-based. Plastics made from plants. Excuse me, science lady. Is this thing on? Who is this? I'm the voice of the internet. Didn't you do this episode already in part one? We covered the basics, but now it's time for a little more detail. Bio-based plastics use either naturally occurring polymers, like starch or cellulose, or bio-derived polymers, where chemicals, monomers, are made from plant material and then formed into new polymers. Huh? Wait, who are you now? I'm, I'm also on the internet. Right. How does that work? Making polywatsits from plant monowatsits? Well, Remember when the team made polythene from ethene monomers? Oh, lot of bit. Can we see it again, Miss Arts Lady? How about a flashback? I hate flashbacks. And so, what started as lots of small molecules now becomes one long molecule. Can we go now? All right. Flashing back through time. Well, ethene is currently produced from fossil fuels, but ethene can also be made from plants by fermenting biomass to make ethanol and then dehydrating it to create ethene. Essentially, you get it drunk and then sober it up again. The plastic produced is chemically identical, but it was formed from plants, not oil. Oh, can I ask? Sure, the more the merrier. So there's no difference between plant-based and oil-based plastics? In a few cases like this, no, but more often, Biodrive plastics are made from entirely new monomers, so they create different polymers with catchy names like polylactic acid or cellulose acetate. I have acid reflux. Is that the same thing? No. So, what are the advantages of making plastics from plants? Plastics made from plants don't use oil. Oil is a non-renewable, finite resource. Yes, but didn't we do this bit already? Ah, but science is never done. Plants are renewable. We can grow plants, use them, and grow them again. And using plant sources to produce plastic has the potential to avoid the other damaging impacts of relying on oil. Mm, ask me. It's dangerous, polluting, politically charged, and carbon intensive. Exactly right. Show off. However, we do need to consider how this plant material is produced. Like in a field? Well, yes. Crops for biomaterial will need to be grown sustainably so they don't threaten food supplies or natural landscapes. Alternatively, bio-based plastics could come from plant waste, non-food crops like rejected potatoes or the non-edible parts from corn and sugarcane, as well as wood waste from the pulp and paper industry. Plant-based plastics also give us the opportunity to create plastics that can be responsibly disposed of. It's time to talk about breakdown. You mean this? No. This? No. This? No. This? No. Well, I bet you weren't expecting this. Hey, hey, this is my audition tape for Breakdancing Scientist, the movie. Hit it. <gasps> no, d definitely not. How did you even- Wait the dance, you ain't lazy, you go, go crazy. Wait the dance, you ain't lazy, you go, go, go crazy. Hey, baby. Let's move on. Biodegrading. I'm talking about biodegrading. Dictionary, please. Biodegrade, to be broken down or decomposed by naturally occurring microorganisms. There are two key parts to biodegrading. First, what breaks it down, naturally occurring microorganisms. That's the bacteria and fungi that live everywhere, especially in the soil. Yippee! Second, what it breaks down into. When something biodegrades completely, it is fully broken down back into naturally occurring, non-toxic molecules. So what are the advantages of biodegrading? Well, anyone remember what happens to plastics that don't break down? Wait, this was in episode one, right? Plastic gets into the ocean and... Struggles turtles! Right! So when bioplastics do biodegrade, they no longer fill our waste streams or destroy our environment with a product that just won't go away. This is an example of the circular economy. 
Plants grow. Chemicals are extracted. Chemicals make polymers. Those polymers are made into plastic products. Those products compost. And that compost grows more plants. Yes, Guys, I, I, I think they've got it. Thanks. Compare this to oil-based plastic. They don't biodegrade, do they? Well, they don't biodegrade, no. But actually, plastics do break down. They just degrade. What? Degrading literally means to break down a bit. It results in tiny bits of plastic, sometimes so small we can't see them, that now have an even easier job of infiltrating our natural environment. Plastics degrading is what causes microplastic in the ocean. And if that wasn't bad enough, when oil-based plastics break down, they also release the chemicals that were added to them to give them their key properties. And these chemicals can be toxic, carcinogenic, or endocrine disruptive, interfering with the hormonal systems of animals to cause cancers, birth defects, immune suppression, or developmental problems. Well, I read somewhere that biodegrading plastic produces greenhouse gases. The plant material in bioplastics is hydrocarbon-based, just like the polymers that make up conventional plastic. If any form of plastic broke down completely, it would produce water and carbon dioxide. What? Oil-based plastics are, as we know, fairly resistant to breakdown. And plant-based plastics can be rather good at it. So doesn't that beg the question? Aren't plant-based plastics producing more carbon dioxide than conventional ones? Plot twist. Yes, biodegrading produces CO2, which yes is a greenhouse gas. But here's the big difference. When we dig into the earth to extract oil to make plastic, we're tapping into a source of carbon that took millions of years to build up. Whereas the plants used to create bioplastic absorb their CO2 in just a few years. So any CO2 released as they biodegrade is balanced out. Same amount in, same amount out. The effect is neutral. Carbon neutral? You bet. So, when you hear the term bioplastic, it may mean bio-based or biodegradable. However, it usually means both. And bioplastics that are both bio-based and biodegradable can be sustainably sourced and responsibly disposed of. But what about compostable? And disposed of how? And do they still biodegrade if they end up at sea? I need your hair fake. I know you still have a lot of questions. So up next, all the answers you've been waiting for. be covering my question about algae? No. Can I be your co-presenter? No. Can I be in all the episodes? No. Are you sure i being in season one? No. Are you sure you're pronouncing cellulose acetate right? No. Can I be best boy? No. What's your best boy? No. Not sure. <laughs>